Shit, your, your guys, they got Kemba out there now. That's, 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 Are we talking about this? We going to, we got to talk about this. We got to talk a little bit of sports, man. Yeah. So you got, all right, so Kemba is on the Knicks now. Julius Randle then signed his extension. They Evan signed Fournier. Evan Fournier, which I, I, that was the only sign that where I was like, bro, he just had one good game against Team USA. Why y'all giving him all this money for all these years? But, but, but uh, how many years they signed him? Four for? years, and I, uh, either 72 or 75 million. Man, so man, that's man. what I'm saying. I'm like, I bro, like maybe a two year contract because he wasn't even balling like that in Boston. Unless they're gonna use him for trade bait, they know they can trade him instead of trading. But not uh, right now. They can't I even trade him yet. Instead of trading a uh, 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 um Barrett. Oh yeah, no, they're playing they the same thing. Barrett. But I th- yeah, I don't think any unless uh, Dame becomes available for trade like officially. But even even now, I'm like, all right, well, y'all just signed. Kimba, so it that doesn't make that sense. Don't make no sense to go after Dame now. And Rose, and, and Rose we is gave still... Rose an extension contract too. So it's like, yeah, we got point guards, and we so, still have quickly who was who, who had a, a really good uh, rookie, rookie year. year last season. So I, listen, outside of the hey, hold on, like hold moves. on, we finally got rid of Nilakina though. He got waived this week. <laughs> That's why that, they got Fournier. It was a look. We ain't gonna give you up. We ain't gonna. We gonna keep a Frenchman somewhere here. Yeah, Manila Kina, you could go. But that was that was long overdue though, because he's he's just been horrible the whole time. He's been for the just like, wasn't good. Man. Yeah, I, I, like we passed up both of the uh, uh, of the uh, 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 y'all like be, y'all like not making the playoffs. That's why we passed on both of the what's the dude in Charlotte and Phoenix that they both got the same name. Um. Oh, the Bridges, Mikhail and uh, and uh, the both of them, for yeah, the, the Bridges brothers, yeah. And listen, man, listen, he's, he's gone. Yeah, you don't have to go through that heartache anymore. I think with the signings, net, like last going into last season, I mean, I don't think anybody thought the Knicks was going to do no. what they did make the playoffs. But this season, I think the Knicks have a solid playoff team. Yeah. Not a championship team, but a solid playoff yeah, team. Yeah, first, second round. And if RJ. Starts to get to that next level, they'll be even better. Mm-hmm. I think it's gonna go by the young players because it's about the we know we know who Kemper is if he can stay healthy. We know what Derrick Rose is gonna give you. We now know what Randall is gonna give you. Do you think Randall's gonna have a repeat season the way he's gonna dominate again? Yes. I now think that so. teams are really gonna key in on him and I think he's so. a part of the of the of the of the playbook because they've gotten better. Uh-huh. I think so. If they came into this season with the same exact team from last season. Then, they would have treated him the way the Hawks treated him. Yes, but now that you're gonna add you adding Kemba into that, Kemba is gonna change a lot because one, he's a good locker room guy. I mean, I was you know his stay in Boston didn't work out that well, but he was All NBA third team the year before he got to to Boston, and now he's coming home. Like Kemba is is, is from actually Up from not lot, too far man. from yeah exactly. He's actually close to the to the studio, so I think him coming home. I think that's gonna be big, and I I think you know. I think the Knicks probably wind up finishing around the same place they finished this year. Either, either I do four, think four, the East got place. stronger though because I feel a like the Heat stronger. got stronger, uh, Philly got stronger uh, with with um, Drummond. Yeah, but you know if, what? I don't know. I don't know what was going on. With, but they still was the number. Like, were they the number one seed in the East? Yes, but we still got to wait for for Ben Simmons to see what's going to yeah, go. Yeah, but they were still a number one seed, so they're still a solid a solid team in the East. We got yeah. the Bucks. You got Brooklyn. Right, and then I'm not gonna lie to you, Chicago leveled up too. So even though we got better, I feel like the East has gotten better. Yeah. So, so we might not be the fourth seed though. We might be a five, six seed, but we're a playoff team. It really yeah. just depends on where the chips fall. Yeah, you. I think as I said, I think the Knicks are solid now. Um, but you know they still they still got a ways to go. They're not on the level of. Brooklyn. Are we eating up a lot of our cap space? Though are we eating up a lot. Well, of they st- they still have room, but. The the, the 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 Randall Fournier and Kimba extend, and, uh, contracts are going to take up a lot of that, but they still have room to maneuver. It's just that I don't know who they're going to be able to get right now that would really push them over the hump. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just because again, like we said, we mentioned earlier, like Lillard. I don't think Dame is coming in yeah, now. Yeah. It just it doesn't make sense anymore. He's probably going to wind up being stuck in Portland at least at least for this year. Bill is too, man. I don't understand it. Well, Bill, once they traded Westbrook. I didn't think they was gonna wind up trading. They was gonna trade both of those guys. But my after thing that. is though, my thing is though, why I don't understand what's keeping Beal there. He just he, he might just love love Washington. 
Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought.